off. Where are you going, babe? Well, I'm somewhere out and about that way. What you doing? I don't know. We, we might hunt or we might just sleep and eat. No. I'll try. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'll miss myself too. You're so Oh my gosh, guys, I just checked. It is, okay, what day is it today? April 25th today. I checked. The sun rises at 625 and it sets at 1003. I just love this. Going to sleep when it's still bright outside, waking up and it's still bright outside. <sighs> this is my favorite time of year. I love the land of the midnight sun. Speaking of Alaska, my husband is currently at duck camp. He left yesterday. Um, every springtime, my grandfather goes down to a village with one of his friends and he, where his friend has a, a duck cabin on the river. And he brings my brothers, my nephews there to go goose and duck hunting. They bring them here. This is food for the family. Um, but this is Jared's first time going, so very excited for him. I know he had a kind of a rough night last night, just at least it's like this for me when you're first sleeping in a place that's new. It's a little rough, but we'll send you guys over to him a couple times through this video so you guys can see what he's doing over at duck camp. And then this is what I am doing at home while he's away. So I'm making sandwich bread. I have some stuff at the air taxi I need to go pick up that came in late last night. And then I'm doing some cleaning around my house because my sister's gonna come and stay the night. She always comes and stays when Jared is gone. Last night she stayed with my sister-in-law um, because Caleb, my brother, is also gone. So Jordan went and stayed with her one night and she's gonna stay with me tonight. And then all our, all our husbands get home tomorrow. The snow is melting. It's looking beautiful outside. I'm really not planning on going out much today besides going to pick up my stuff. So we're just in our lounge stuff today and sipping our coffee. It's 36 degrees outside, but man, no snow. It's melting. There's less snow still on the ground now than there was last year when Jared and I were getting married end of May. Crazy. <laughs> videos and we've made a lot of progress so I am happy to inform that the body is done and one of the arms is almost done I have about 20 more stitches away 
from starting the cuff and I thought that this was gonna get too long but when I actually tried it on yesterday it only ended about right here so it did need that extra bit it was supposed to be like the pattern the yarn that was used was like a wool yarn this is just an acrylic knitting yarn from Michaels so it's a little bit lighter than what it's supposed to be but I am very very excited for how this is turning out and also people who commented I did like a knit in chat video a couple people commented and they were asking how I knit because it looks differently or they're trying to figure out how I knit and this is how my mama taught me my mama grew up in the Soviet Union Russia so this is how she learned. I had to ask her yesterday, mom, is this the right way? Like, this is how you taught me? She's like, yeah, that's how I was taught. That's how I do it. So for the, this is for the, Beasley, stop chewing on my yarn. This is for the knitters out there who are asking what I'm doing. Let me see, will it focus on my hands? Okay, there we go. I know you're getting a backwards view, but I go through the back loop and then pull through. So if you're looking at it from my point of view and pull through, does that make sense? That's how I do it. Don't ask me what way that is, because I don't know, because I know there's multiple ways, but that's just how I learned and that's how I do it. So I'm going to go pick up my stuff that came into the air taxi last night. And let me just tell you something, a little bit about my my four-wheeler so she broke right before Jared and I got married no idea why um, but we were low on oil and little old me who knows nothing about vehicles bought this vehicle and didn't even think about checking the oil so basically ruined the four-wheeler and then also the shifter stopped working so Jared and one of the my co-workers had to learn Jared learned quickly how to change a shifter on the four-wheeler and then also how to do a complete oil change on the four-wheeler as well so things you have to do yourself and learn how to do yourself living out here in alaska So we have this, ooh, and we have a shirt. I know what those are, exciting. Okay, so the first package was a gift, so I can't show you what's in that one, but this one is my fun little box from Shutterfly. I love getting these little magnets. These are the ones that I got. This is from Christmas and from vacation slash winter time. And I put them on the side of my fridge. Just little memories. My whole goal is to get my whole fridge decorated with these. Let's go put them on. starting to go down. Oh, so nice. This is what they look like. Really nice. We're gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes. Then we'll bake.